How is it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video I've got for you is going to be a few like two player packs just to open up. We have the UCL cards in packs of course. Now EA just dropped a new SBC and apologies but the servers are probably absolutely off their head. Uh, but I wanted to quickly show you guys what my team is currently looking like. We've got a team that's looking just about like this. Uh, it, it's a pretty decent looking team. Now, usually what I would do, I was just testing out uh, Douglas Costa there at centre mid. Usually I would have Vidal over at left centre mid. I want to ask you guys what you think about the team. And if you guys have any, uh, you know, ideas for improvements, let me know down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, but let's jump straight into it. Let, let's go. Uh, currently, I am, as you guys can see, 6-0 in weekend league. So we're doing pretty well. Uh, but let's go straight into the packs nonetheless. The servers are having meltdown. Now, actually, you know what? I do want to quickly show you guys the SBC first. Uh, the SBC for Milinkovic Savic. Let's have a quick look at that first. So, uh, da, 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 da. there we go. Milinkovic Savic. So, we need a Lazio player, uh, five serial players, two UEFA Champions League rare items, and an 84 rated uh, team. Then, an 85 rated team with youth UEFA Champions League common or rare players, minimum of two, and two Serbian players. So, I'm guessing the Manu Matic probably risen up a little bit. If we do pack something like a Matic, then I probably will try and complete the SBC. If not, doubt I'll do it because it seems quite expensive and I'm not really, I don't use him. So there's no point in me getting him. However, let's go ahead and open these packs and see if we can actually get ourselves some decent pulls from 10 gold upgrade packs. Because, uh, you know, anything that will help me better my team, even though I highly doubt it because we've got an incredible team so far. But if we pack anything like a Banasia, an Alexandro, a Matuidi, anything like that, to then go and sell the players I have, that is a massive bonus. So, um... So yeah, now, uh, all the duplicates until we start getting dupe uh, untradables from this um, are tradable because I went through and cleared out all my Club of the Rares to put into this pack, uh, into these packs, sorry, because um, I just didn't really see the need to have any rares in the club. So I went and cleared out a bunch of rares and put them into here. So hopefully we don't get any duplicate untradable players. And in the first two packs, we've gone and got Bravo and Goethe straight away. So uh, not fantastic, sadly. Um, DRB there as well. I guess we'll... Uh, you know what? I don't even need to keep these items. I'm just going to discard them all. Don't know why I, saw, I sent Bravo to the transfer list. But uh, I'm hoping that from at least... From 10, we can get at least one or two board drops. If we get a walkout, that'd be fantastic as well. Gold upgrades used to be fantastic back in FIFA 18. And I feel like in FIFA 19, they're considerably worse. Now, that's just my opinion. Let me know down below if you agree or disagree. I'd love to uh, I'd love to hear your opinion. So uh, let's go into the next pack. We have, of course, got incredible, incredible luck. Oh, walkout! Oh, my God! There we go. We've got a walkout. It's an inform. Who's it going to be? Brazilian. Left mid. Felipe Anderson. Oh, my word. What? Dude, what? Holy shit. I completely forgot Felipe Anderson was an inform. How much is he going for? Felipe Anderson's price is 140,000 coins. Holy crap. That's insane. I was genuinely good when I didn't get him in my red weekly. So that is insane. Let's go. What a pack. Oh, my word. This card looks incredible. Holy moly. I'm trying not to swear because, like, I'm just trying to cut down on that my videos. But that's incredible. I was jealous. I think it was either Net Nepenthes or Nick28T. I can't remember who it was. I think they got them in their red player pick, and I was so jealous. I'm very happy now. We've actually got him in trade. But that's sick. That is incredible. He's going to be such a great super sub for my team. That is incredible. Three packs in and we get a walkout. Very, very happy with that. So, uh, decent. Very, very decent. If we can, uh, if we get anything else now, like, I will be over the moon. Because that, that there is fantastic. I'm very happy with that. So, let's go. Let's, uh, let's move on and see if we can get anything else decent. I completely forgot who was in the team of the week. Uh, when I was thinking team of the week, the only one I could think of was Mertens. I completely forgot about everybody else. So, I'm very, very satisfied with that. That is fantastic. Uh, thank you very much, EA. Thank you a lot. So, Let's go into some more two-player packs. It's not going to be a walkout. Not going to be a board either. Sadly, d d disappointing, but uh, but true. Uh, and then, then again, I can't really say disappointing. We just packed Inform Felipe Anderson. That is incredible. Very happy with that. This should be a tradable duplicate as well. Uh, and it is a tradable duplicate. There we go. So my pack look recently has been decent. In fact, what promos are out right now? Ooh, we've got Mega Packs and Prime Gold Players Packs. Might have to open some of these, you know. Might have to open them. You know what? If I get a walkout out of any of these last five, I'll go ahead and open some of the promo packs that are in the store. I think that's fair because then I'll know that my pack look is is worth me opening them because I've opened a lot of packs over the last uh, like week or two. And we have Black Friday coming up too. So I know that's going to be an expensive weekend for me. So 
you know, we'll uh, we'll only open them if 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 we feel it necessary. If we do get a walkout from any of these last packs, but we get a board drop. Go on, be something decent. It's going to be German goalkeeper, as always, Borman. I don't think I don't remember the last time I got a German board drop that wasn't Borman. Every time I'm like, go on, be sentiment, be like Kadira or be like Goretzka. Nope, Borman, <laughs> Borman every time. But we got three more of these left. Let's see if we can get anything decent from these last three. Come on, EA, hook a brother up. What's it going to be? It's going to be another board drop. Back to back boards is decent, actually. My pack look does seem pretty good. Brazilian, Cam, Guiliano. Yikes. Okay. Um, ugh. You know, not great. Not fantastic. Uh, we'll take it, though. Babacan as well. We'll go ahead and uh, send the other one to the discard pile. We'll go ahead and discard that. What else do we have for these packs? We've got two more two-player packs left. Go on, EA. Hook a bro up. Not going to be a walkout. Not going to be a board either. we got two in a row, though. Can't complain. And I'm very happy with how this has gone. We've got Marcus Rashford there as well. Now, he used to go for like 30k. He's only like 2.5k now. However, he's still decent because he's a decent super sub, in my opinion. He's just decent to have on the bench in general. So, we'll take him. We'll go ahead and discard that. Let's see what else we can get. We've got one more two-player pack. Is it going to be decent? Not going to be a walkout. Not going to be a board either. Disappointing. But we did get in for Felipe Anderson. Cannot complain about that. Cannot complain about that. I think this has been a very successful stint of 10 gold upgrade packs. Nothing to uh, to change with the team. I wasn't really expecting it, though. We've got an incredible team. However, one thing I think is great is that I can go ahead and find my inform. Oh, crap. I've got a huge... Okay, we've got loads of rares in the club. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll single out Felipe Anderson here. And we'll go and replace him for Arnautovic for now. Very happy with that. Very satisfied. We've got two really decent untradeable West Ham players, actually. A lot of untradeable Brazilians are great as well. Uh, not a big fan of Roy Keane, by the way. A lot of people are asking me. He's kind of just a bit clunky. I don't know. It's weird. But he's great on, like with tackling and, and he's great with like shielding the ball and stuff. But he just turns too slowly and it's a little bit of a problem for me. All right, I gave in. I kind of want to open a few mega packs. I want to see what the pack probabilities are first. So UCL World to the final player, 1.8%. 4.1% again in 87+. plus. What are these? 4%? Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going. We're definitely going with the Mega Packs. I really like Mega Packs. I do. So I, I had to give in. I had to give in and open a couple of them at least. Uh, we don't get a board drop in the first one, sadly, though. That's kind of disappointing. I feel like Mega Packs are better when you pay for them via FIFA points than they are when you get, like, Div Rival rewards, for example. Maybe that's just a tinfoil hat theory. That's just the way I feel about it. I don't seem to get great Div Rival Mega Packs, but, like, when I pay these points and get them, they always seem half decent, to be fair. So. You know, hopefully, hopefully these ones are half decent as well. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll discard all of that stuff because I don't really care about the badges and kits and uh, the 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 rare player. I only put on 2,200 thief points because I was sat there thinking, I'm literally going to spend so much money on Black Friday that there is no point me spending more because I'm just like going overboard. Who's this? Oh, David, ah, David Luiz. I keep thinking he's someone good, but this year he's crap. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, Black Friday is going to be huge. And although I'm really excited for Black Friday, I'm not excited to, to have my bank ring me up every five minutes. Like, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Hey, we're not happy, man. Come on, dude. Think about us here. You know? So, yeah. But there's a lot of plays in that. Jeez, there's a lot of plays in that mega pack. Damn. All right. Last mega pack. If we, to, I tell you what. If we get a walkout, I'll do three more. Or the last... No, I'll do the last two, sorry. If we get a walkout. Oh, my God. We got... A, okay. All right. EA is listening to me confirmed. EA is listening to me. Oh, my word. Who's this? Jordi Alba. That's a 60,000 coin card. 70,000 coin card right there. Holy crap. What a card. What a pull. I hate you, EA. I really hate you. Oh, EA. Why would you make me do this? Why would you make me do this? Well, of course, so. of course I know why they make me do this. Because I give them money, but... Damn it, I shouldn't have said anything. I should have opened my stupid mouth. We got two walkouts in the same pack. We got li we literally got two three! We got three walkouts in the same pack! What the hell? Oh my god! Three walkouts in the same pack! I need to figure out how much I've just made. Oh my god! Jordi Alba sells for 65,000 coins. Verratti currently sells for how much? Verratti currently sells for 15,000 coins. So together, that's 80,000 coins. How much is Douglas Costa? Douglas Costa goes for 51k. Oh my word. 
We just made 130k in one pack. I'm going to list them up a little bit cheaper so I'll get a quick sale. Because I just want the quick sales on these cards, honestly. Um, I think this is, is convincing me now that I should trade in my Roy Keane and get a better icon. I'm thinking like Balak or someone like that. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm still thinking. Let me know down below who you think I should go for. That is incredible. What a pack. That is, the I think, the best pack I've had this year so far. No, I, to be fair, I packed an icon. I can't, I can never say that's the best pack. Well, looks like I've got to do the last two then. You must feel proud of yourself, EA. You must feel real proud of yourself. All right, well, you've just roped me into doing the last two. At least make it worth it. No, no walkout in the second to last pack. Do get a board drop, though. That's decent. Is it going to be anything good? Italian? Goalie. Perrin? No. Viviano? Even worse. Uh, it's, uh, it's an 83. It's a board drop. Can't complain. It's better than a non-board drop, at least. Uh, we'll go ahead and store all of those items and discard the rest of these. Uh, not too bad. All right. Last one. Last of these. And then I'll go, if there's a 15k back or something, I'll just open that. If not, then uh, then we'll just figure out what we'll do with the last amount of coins. So, no boards in the last one. I can't complain. We've had three normal 86s and an informed walkout in this, in this video. It's been absolutely incredible. So... Yeah, what what a what a video! What what like a pack opening? It's been it's been nuts. Um, what can we do here? I guess uh, can you buy three hundred? You can't buy three hundred fifty points. So otherwise, I would have just opened one prime gold. We're just going to do a couple of seven point fives to round off the video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, though, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. I greatly appreciate it. Not expecting anything from these last seven point five k packs because. The 7.5k packs, but if you like the pack opening videos and you want them to continue, let me know by showing your support down below. I'd love to, I'd love to hear your opinions. I'd love to, I'd love to see your your support. Um, if you guys are, you know, supportive enough of the pack opening videos, I will of course bring you more pack opening videos. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.